Here we go. Chat, today we are watching some ranked replays. It's been a while since we've watched ranked replays, but this is a good one. Uh, I went and checked after getting into the new house. Not a lot of time to set up a show match. Instead, look to see if there's any interesting ranked games. And Khaled is going to start off very fancily at the start of this game against Lusual. Those are the two guys playing today. We've got Lusual in the red on the orange team, or not just the red, the multicolor red. And Khaled in the classic Octane here in the blue team. Uh, Lusual we saw play the last show match on stream. He played against Evo. They played two different sets of three uh, in which I think Evo was able to win out just barely um, by stealing one game on EU and then being able to handle the games on his own server. But now we're going to see Lusual going up against one of the EU monsters, or I, I say EU monster, but he's not really from EU. He plays on EU servers the most of the time, but if you haven't heard of Khaled by now, you're crazy. Oh, Khaled is, you know, arguably the number one 1v1er in the world. He's up there with Jack and Jorias, and now I would argue Daniel as people who are currently considered to be top 1v1ers, and we're really just waiting for another event to find out who's going to come on top. And because we won't see lands for a long time, we may not see a truly fair Khaled versus Daniel, or apparently Jack or Jorias versus Daniel, but we can always check out some fun EU versus Middle East action. And right now, Ocalot up 2-0 on Lusual. Lusual is the 10th rated EU player in the world right now. Somewhere around 22. Goodness, Khaled is absolutely on fire to start this one. A nice ceiling reset. Dropping that right into the top corner. Um, but Lusual is no slump. Ocalot is known for always, always, always hanging out at the top of the leaderboard. He's never given back the top spot if he really wants to. Although right now, I think he is technically rated uh, number six in the world. Apparently, Jack has been on an insane grind, and I think it's for YouTube, if I'm being honest. He's been playing a bunch of ones for YouTube, and that has put him at the number one spot uh, globally for the past month or so, and he hasn't given it back to Khaled, and I don't know how hard Khaled's been trying, but he seems to be able to get up there at will, and right now he's up 3-0 on a top-rated ones player. I'm sure he loves it when he runs into these other top-rated players because I imagine he has to farm very few points off of all his wins and then he runs into a guy like Lusual who's actually highly rated and he's excited to be able to try and farm some points off him. Lusual still searching for his first goal. I honestly haven't watched a lot of Khaled games. Um, I've watched a lot of his stuff in the main tournaments, but not too many regular show matches. So, you know, despite the super infamous bounce dribble that he's had, um, I'll admit I don't know too much about his style, but right now he has looked more like a high flyer than a ground player um, playing insanely in the air. I think he had a single power shot, but he is just taking him to the ceiling every time. Another ceiling reset, and Lusual has yet to find a goal. Floating behind the ball, this bump, Gets saved away, and then Lusual will finally get his first on the takeaway. Is there a way to see how long you're kind of been following you? I'm not sure. Ocal losing one of the first kickoffs into his own half. Lusual needed to snipe that bump, and it's not going to be enough. Khaled able to grab back to his own boost. The good touch into the corner to make sure he took that ball out of dangerous way, but also win the race to that back corner boost. And I said that was one of the first kickoffs it felt like Lusual won, but Khaled found a way to make it a loser once again for Lusual. Lusual with an insane pre-jump. That goes to show how dominant Khaled's been in the air. Lusual does not want to give Khaled an opportunity to dribble the whole field and is willing to give up his entire tank boost just to pinch that ball away and prevent the air dribble. Lusual, that was a nice redirection. He, he kind of faked the air dribble bump and then instead tried to slow it down and notch it in behind Ocalad and it ended up being a good enough attempt to buy himself a follow-up. But he's only got a minute 28 left to come back. Khaled once again in control of the kickoffs. Lusual is gonna have to find a way to come out more ahead on these kickoffs in. That's not a bad way to do it, just completely stopping the immediate Ocala attempt with a huge pre-jump, but not able to finish it. 
when he needs to most. A couple shots off the post. And he's being a little bit greedy, but he needs to. With a minute 10 left to go. Another extremely lost kickoff, Lujul. Having to use everything he has just to get a slight touch out of the net. And it's just, you can't lose kickoffs that bad. I'm sure Lujul realizes what he needs to do to come back in these games. He hasn't played too bad in the possessions that have not ended immediately after a few moments. And even here, when it seemed like he won a kickoff, Khaled finds a way to get back and get the save. He does have an extreme boost advantage, but he just cannot capitalize on these. Khaled's so calm in his back half. Even an initial victory for Lujul means nothing in Khaled, a pinch from the ceiling. That's a forfeit, 8-2 in this first game. I forgot to mention, we have, I think, four replays. I should be more certain. But at least four, maybe five, of Khaled versus Lujul. And despite Khaled dominating the kickoffs, uh, these might be a day apart. I think the first two games are about a day apart or in early May, and the last two are a little bit closer to the end of May. But four total of this matchup. This time, Khaled's going to start the game by not going to the kickoff at all. And Lujul instantly able to capitalize on that and that just goes to show how much of a story the kickoff was in the previous game this time Lujul flying in front of the ball can't afford to not get a touch but another thing that Lujul realized was the key to success is the Fennec Lujul playing the Fennec this time around O'Callaghan, I'm not sure I've ever heard of O'Callaghan playing any other card chat do you guys know I know he's famously a Fennec player great air dribble bomb Lujul had some good air dribble bumps against Evo as well. But we didn't see him go for it too many times in that first rank game. Chat, does anybody know, has Ocalot ever played in a different card than the Fennec? Nice low 50. How does he turn these into goals? It really didn't seem like that shot was threatening at all, but Lujul wanted to try and win out the 50. It felt like he could. Ocala did seem like he was floundering with that air dribble, but he finds a way to just perfectly kill the ball. Lujul goes flying by, and he's able to get a second to tie it up. Before the Finnick release? Oh, on Battle of the Bulls? Yeah. I don't know if that counts either. Lujul cutting back in field, trying to make a low boost play, but he has not done a good job of securing his offensive attacks against Khaled. Khaled has been able to turn everything into a goal. Khaled is so efficient. It seems like every shooting opportunity for him turns into a goal, and Lujul struggles to find something that not only can score, but doesn't get him immediately counterattacked on. Khaled's so comfortable on defense, and it seems like that's resulting in Lujul playing a little bit panicked. What a shot from Khaled. I watched that from Lujul's perspective. But it wasn't, you know, uninteresting to see it from Lujul. It's a great double touch off the back wall. And Lujul kind of operating with only enough boost to make a single aerial. Khaled able to keep it high enough on the back wall to double it before Lujul could get up to take it away. Oh my goodness, Khaled just playing so fast. Lujul needs to get something going for him. I'm sure these guys in ranked love to go up against these top guys like Ocalad. You'll hear and see these guys all the time claim about single wins they get in ranked against these guys. And not just Khaled, but any of the top guys. Um, everybody's always searching to show that they can beat the current champion of 1v1, even if it's in a single ranked game. Lujul, once again, not able to turn much of anything out of his dribble. But this time he does recover and redirects the counterattack away. He's operating once again on low boost, and so far it's just been a matter of time before Cal scores, as opposed to whether or not he'll score. This midfield 50 is not in his favor, but instead of taking it back to his half, he'll cut it right back in field. Lujul finally able to reset and a fake! right when it felt like Lujul had did what he needed to to take the ball out to midfield and give himself some time to reset on boost. Khaled just does him dirty and fakes it low. 
Halfway through the game, another deficit for Luzwell. A nice bump. When you can't get past a crafty defender, might as well take him out of the game. Oh, I just tried to skip the replay. I always do that at least once a uh, replay viewing. I never seem to be able to remember that I can't skip the boring goals. Luzwell, a kickoff in his favor. 5-6, and all of a sudden, he is absolutely in this game. Two minutes left to go. What he can't do is lose these kickoffs, but Khaled! This is one of the first times Khaled hasn't executed on every single open net. Not only is he executed on every open net, but it seems like he executes on every guarded net as well. But for the first time ever, he misses wide. And Lujul gets off easy there, although eventually O'Khaled will get that seventh goal to go up 7-5. Khaled, the smart aerial play, does a really good job of keeping the defender at bay, although this time he catches an unwanted bump from Luzwell, and Luzwell's able to get a sixth. Luzwell needs to get more physical. It seems like the times he's gone for demos and bumps against Khaled, he's done better, whether they become accidentally or on purpose. He needs to get Khaled out of his groove, because Khaled has just seemed unbeatable went in it, and that was a great flick. Kala didn't leave much of a window, but Luzwell almost found the tiniest one that was left there. A nice demo, a minute 20 left to go. A lot of field for Luzwell, and Luzwell needs to find a way to make these work for him, but wave dashing into the ball at midfield gets that ball accelerated so quickly, and it's hard to make the right adjustments on the ball when it's flying away from you that fast. I'm surprised Luzwell wave dashed into that one instead of Taking a slower bounce, Khaled going for the safe method of 1v1-ing, or sorry, of low 50-ing. Uh, believe it or not, he's been 1v1-ing this whole time. Luz will flick and bump, all in attempt with a very little boost he had. He needed to get the bump, and it might have been worth it. He had to find a way to get back and get a lead in this game, but Khaled will not let it happen. 8-6, 43 seconds left to go. Khaled, real nice flip reset to get that anywhere near online. The fact that he doesn't get counterattacked here is what's so insane. Seems like it should have been an easy opportunity for Luzwell to take the ball away and take it down the field, but no. And not only that, insult to injury, O'Khaled undercutting Luzwell, not letting him get to that midfield boost, getting him completely starved out. Not what he needs to see here in the last 15 seconds as Khaled slowly secures Another ranked win. Luzwell's been playing well. He's kept it close. But he has not been able to take down O'Khaled. At least not yet. Not sure how the rest of the ranked replays are going to go. These guys won't let the, hit the ball, let the ball hit the ground. But they will. Khaled will take the second game of four against Luzwell. Khaled versus Luzwell again. This time, Lujul on the red team. A nice early goal. Another one kickoff and a quick play from the wall. Gets him his first. Khaled in the blue. Lujul able to stay calm as that ball once again headed directly into his net in a way that it seems like Khaled can just do easily against him, despite him having lots of time to be able to adjust to the way O'Khaled is kicking off. Air dribble bump and a fake. Khaled's fakes. The respect from these guys against one of the best 1v1ers is definitely there. He hasn't had to score with a regular air dribble or flick, it seems like, in a long time. He can instead just pull off of them and fake. And a big part of that is due to how well he's timing them on the field to force Luzual into a really tough spot. Luzual almost able to get a cheeky goal on the goal line there, but panic from Luzual. Khaled is just so calm. What a pinch, wow. He ripped that one off the ground. That ground pinch was crazy. Luzual needs to stay calm. It, it seems like it's easier said than done, especially against a guy like Khaled, but Khaled never seems to be in any state of worry and whether that has to do with confidence or just 
great play that never puts him in a situation where he needs to panic. He just has no trouble. 2-2. Two -two. We doing WoW Classic TBC. <laughs> Illusual forced in the air. Wanted the way for that ball to come down to gain possession. Had to tap it away. Cali was barely downing him, and that flick just leaves a little bit to be desired. A very weak flick on his approach to the net. And you can't afford to waste opportunities like that. This time, Illusual very low on boost. Had to hit the ball away from him. Tried to turn nothing into something with that low boost situation. But the first one, he had all the time in the world and he has been trying to pick up this ball and take early flicks and it hasn't been working for him. A big miss on the back wall. But luckily for him, Khaled can't find the angle and Khaled is just going back and forth. Usual stuck on very little boost. Has to decide whether or not to come out to midfield or grab some boost of his own. He's able to get a couple pads and stop the air dribble. Finally looking like a formidable opponent for O'Khaled. And a big rush. Both those guys ignoring the ball. Khaled, is he going to be able to get a quick counterattack? No, just barely redirected by Lujul. But it's interesting the way both those guys realized that back corner boost was more important than possession. So frequently we see 1v1ers mess that up and over-prioritize the boost. But both of them leaving it be, making the rush. Khaled just barely able to win it out. Lujul. See, that is a very calm demeanor on the goal line. Good recognition that Khaled did not have his car in a position to challenge. He was turned away from the ball already, getting ready for the retreat, which means he's not going to have a very strong or quick challenge at all. If anything, he will be reversing and will be easy to read. And Luzhul knew it, but despite having the ball on the goal line, didn't panic. But a midfield flick. Khaled, well-timed as Luzhul turns around to make the shadow. And once again, another lead for Khaled. Excited to see those guys versus the U teams on the IWO. Yeah, it's gonna be great. You know, that's the kind of stuff we've been waiting for for a long time. Another great kickoff goal. That's two kickoff goals, I think, or two quick goals off the kickoff for Lujul in this game. But that is gonna be really, really exciting. A lot of people talk about the Middle East guys and whether or not they can hang in 3v3. And to me, it seems like every time they've given an opportunity to show their stuff, they've been able to prove that they're high level. At least uh, Sandrock Gaming has proved their top notch. And I think at least two um, teams will come from the Middle East, right? So we'll get to see at least a couple different teams uh, go up against other regions. And I think you'd be silly not to have high hopes for them. Um, but they, a lot of people like to disregard them for their lack of, you know, RLCS competition. Nice flick from Luzwell. Luzwell's got this one close with a minute 22 left to go. Personally, I think Sandrock Gaming will absolutely surprise and um, will play well. That being said, I can't say that Khaled is the best one we want or I have to put faith in our boy Daniel here on the stream. And anybody who's watched our stream knows we just have no choice. We have no choice but to believe in Dan Pai and his ability to take anybody down. Bolton's team ended up making the quarters, nice. Khaled, a tie game late, once again, taking the lead right back. And so many fast balls from the corner. Khaled is very willing to just clear a hard ball into the corner and try and score on the wraparound. Lujul's been forced into a, a bunch of tough defensive situations, trying to make awkward saves as the ball slowly creeps in front of that near post. And while he was really struggling to handle those situations before, it seems like he's gotten much better at them, but I don't think he's going to be able to beat this power shot from Khaled, yeah. A great 50. Khaled just creating so many opportunities out of the midfield, executing on every single one. Lujul, a top 10 EU player, searching for that first win against Khaled, at least in this month of May, and games that were on ball chasing. And it seems like the recipe for him is going to be kickoffs. He needs to win the kickoff game. We saw how game number one went when he didn't win the kickoff game. And he wasn't able to win, you know, the open field game either. And Khaled doing some time wasting, bringing this back into his corner. He's been doing such a good job 
of boost stealing and keeping Lujual at bay. Once again, he's got possession for what feels like the last 30 or 40 seconds. He'll finally go for an air dribble. A risky final play with the clock ticking down, but not if you're Khaled. A one goal win, another close one, but Khaled refuses to let up as he wins once again. All right, here we go. Our fourth and final replay of Lusual versus Khaled. Lusual back out of the Fennec and back into the Octane. This one comes from, I think yesterday, yesterday or a couple days ago. Um, these have been all over the month of May, these four replays between these two guys. But this one is a recent one. Um, these guys played just a couple days ago and we will see whether or not Lujul can finally get past Khaled or if all the ball chasing replays will be in his favor. Khaled gonna start with an early win, or not an early win, but an early goal and an early lead. Lujul actually, the past couple games, was taking early leads on Khaled but couldn't hold on to him and fought close, or fought tooth and nail all the way down to the very end. And kickoffs were key for him. Right now, at the start of this game, well, there you go. An important kickoff to show that he can match this Khaled kickoff game. Uh, Dark, I believe I had it at 5k for 1v1s. The top three are Apjack, Khaled, and Daniel. Daniel needs to be given his opportunity to show where he lies with the rest of the top guys. Lusual and Iso 50 and finally has O'Khaled almost making a mistake. So far this entire time these guys playing each other, it's been Lujual panicking on Khaled shots, but finally Lujual gets Khaled to pre-jump. The difference is Khaled stays down far enough to make sure he doesn't get scored on Lujual! A nice flip reset in a second. We haven't seen a lot of aerial play from him today or in this last month, but we saw a lot of it against Evo. Um, he played against Evo last week on Tuesday on stream and he started out with enough aerial play for us to say he had a similar play style to Evo, but very quickly we realized he was playing more of a counterattack style against Evo. And it's kind of interesting. He, he hasn't had to play counterattack or hasn't been able to play counterattack against Khaled. Khaled has just been way too strong on offense. You know, you need to get the saves and turn it back the other way to play in the counterattack. But if it goes in your net, there's no counterattack to be had, and Khaled just has such a high scoring efficiency. Whereas Evo is a player who's begging to be counterattacked the way he plays such an aggressive style. Nice dodge on the demo attempt. Khaled no longer gonna get air dribble bumps. Another fake from Khaled. Lusual, a big miss. Oh no. It seemed like he made the read for one of the first times. He didn't fall for a Khaled fake. Khaled wasn't gonna be able to roll the ball. He had to flick it in. The, the slight roll was offline, and Lujul just made a bit of a mistouch on the back wall. I'm not sure if he watched it from his perspective, if the fake really affected him at all. He just seemed to make a poor read. He did have to wait to come out of the net until later than he would have wanted to, I imagine. So Khaled finding every last way to get a defender to mess up. A good 50 in the corner. A risky play from Khaled, but he probably didn't expect such a fancy 50 from Lujual, that's not an easy play from Lujual either, playing in that shadow position and jumping up with the top of his car trying to cover the ball. But able to do it. And a very impressive play in the corner gives him a well-earned goal. One of the first times he's able to beat Khaled at the midfield or in his back half and score on an open net as opposed to the other way around. Nice challenge. Lujual, a two goal lead against Khaled halfway through the game. Joriez is like 7th in your opinion. Oh my goodness. That feels a little bit low. But I feel like it's also a little bit like rating um, first killer who hasn't played in a long time. I don't know if Joriez has played any high level 1v1 events. Um, I guess he played in the smug, didn't he? Who did Joriez play in the smug? Lujul, a 6-3 lead. 
easily the biggest lead we've seen him have. I'm not sure if we've seen too many leads, other than the first goals. The first couple goals, he's been able to get a kickoff goal and take a lead. Other than that, he's been playing from behind against Khaled for so long. But he's finally got a lead he needs to hold on to. The last minute 30. And he just tapped this ball away to Khaled. But Khaled looking rushed. Doesn't matter. He's going to be able to score. It seemed like it was a mistake to shoot that ball early. And just power shot it to a waiting Lujul. But Lujul did not get the kind of touch he needed to. To clear it away. Instead, bounced it right back out to Khaled. Khaled able to get a fourth. Minute 20 left to go. Should be able to get a fifth. Bringing it back within one. Lujul letting it slip away here a little bit in the last minute. Didn't he play Jack or was that the Lambo 1v1? That's a good question. I'm not sure if the Lambo 1v1 really counts too much in the uh, you know records of 1v1 show matches. It was fun and it was a lot of money, I imagine, winning. I think it was like 10k or something like that for a single game. Which is insane. But Khaled, he's done it. He's brought it back. Lujul. Couldn't keep him away. Got the biggest lead he's had in the past month against Khaled. But eventually dropped it. Nice kickoff. Super important kickoff. I wonder how Khaled took that kickoff. That didn't go in his way. Lujul, has he been on the improvement grind? Over the past few weeks, no better test than Khaled. Even if he ends up not winning this game, he's already shown that he can hang with the best. Just might not be able to take them down quite yet. Khaled with 34 seconds. A lot of space and time. Lujul not able to hold on to possession for that final minute like Khaled did to him in the previous game. The urgible bump and the tie game from Khaled with 25 seconds left to go. What's the series count? We've watched three replays of these guys so far. And this is the fourth. Uh, Khaled has won them all. But Lujul with the best chance so far. 20 seconds left to go. Able to get a nice catch on this ball and a quick play in a 50. I don't think Khaled was ready for Lujul to play it so fast, but he had such a good catch and flip off the side wall to keep momentum on that ball and force the defensive play on O'Callaghan so quickly and a nice recovery to stop the kickoff goal. A big fake O'Callaghan looking panicked for the first time against Lujul that he ever has. He's looked so comfortable every other second of the game, but finally down one. He's got an opportunity with what seemingly an open net. Oh, a feels backflip. Chad, I think he could have got this. He doesn't have a lot of boost. But he, he, he held on to reverse there for a little bit, right at the last second. He reverses right there, doesn't he? And then he jumps into this and backflips. It seems like he might have been able to cut under it, but maybe with four boosts, he couldn't get there. He had an open net. Needed to get under it. Couldn't quite do it. Tried to backflip it up, maybe. I don't know if it was a feels backflip or an intentional backflip to chip it with his nose. But Lujul! Lujul's going to do what he thought wasn't possible and take at least a game off of Mr. Cowell.